Hey, what is going on everyone? Today I'm going to be installing and trying out Windows 2000 on an Intel MacBook. This video takes inspiration from a Matt KC video demonstrating Windows Millennium working on an Intel iMac. And this video is based on a 2006 Mac Rumors tutorial. Let's begin. First up, we need to modify the Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 ISO, replacing the NT Detect program with one from a Windows XP Service Pack 2 installation so it actually loads on the Mac. Now I won't be providing links to such ISOs, but they really aren't that hard to find online. You can use a program such as Power ISO to achieve this patch, then you can burn the installation onto a blank CD or DVD. Next I'll be booting onto the install disk on my MacBook. When the screen says press F6 to install a third party SCSI or RAID driver, I pressed F5 repeatedly and selected the computer type as Advanced Configuration and Power Interface PC, or ACPI for short. Then I'd let the setup continue to load from there. I did the usual stage 1 setup parts such as agreeing to the terms and conditions, creating a partition that is 20 gigs in size and formatting it as NTFS, then I waited as the setup went and installed all the main system files for stage 2. One reboot later and we have the glorious Windows 2000 startup screen for the first time, followed up by the beginning of stage 2 setup. What's great is that both the keyboard and mouse worked right out of the box thanks to the OS support for USB devices. First the setup detected and installed device drivers which took a few minutes, then I set up the regional settings, typed in my name, set the date and time, and let the network drivers and remaining files be copied before the Mac automatically rebooted. We are welcomed with a network identification wizard program where I set the OS to always require a password at the login screen despite the fact that there is no password. Then finally, we are at the desktop, mission accomplished. As you can see, the graphics is fairly limited with only 16-bit color support with a generic VGA driver. And looking at the system properties, we find that the Intel Core 2 Duo chip has been recognized, along with almost 3 gigabytes of RAM. All of the screensavers work with limited graphics. For example, here is the 3D Maze screensaver, and here is the 3D Pipe screensaver. We also have the Mistrify screensaver that moves fast, as you can see right here. Now even with the limited VGA graphics, we can still have an 800 by 600 screen resolution, and the built-in games such as Solitaire works, along with the iconic 3D pinball game as well. So that was Windows 2000 installed and demonstrated on an Intel Mac. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.